Hi, my name is Luke Leonard. I'm the director of The Difficulty of Crossing a Field. I received an email from uh, Linda Thompson, Gertrude Opera, the Opera Studio of Melbourne. She had come across production stills from a version of the show that I did in 2010, and she asked if, uh, if she could borrow the design, so to speak. And, and in the same breath, she said, if you're as crazy as I am, uh, maybe you would entertain the idea of coming to Melbourne to direct the piece. It's about a disappearance of, of a human being. The composer gives freedom to the audience to decide what actually happens. I think what, what's unique and what's special about this piece is that it's American opera. It represents, you know, a time in America, American history, that people try to erase from their imaginations because it's a very dark and dangerous time in America. But it represents what America can and has been able to overcome. And that's a wonderful thing about this piece. So I'm Dimity Shepherd and I'm playing Mrs. Williamson, who is uh, the disappeared Mr. Williamson's wife, who's left with the, you know, to deal with the ramifications of him being gone in a time when women were pretty much, you know, needed to be married to have an identity. I like that this piece with the music and the story and things, you can really be very creative with your voice as well as your body. It's great because uh, I actually have different voices this time. The, the opera voices are different than, than the version before we were, where I had more contemporary sounding voices. Um, that is different and, and exciting. David Lang's music is unpredictable. It's um, it's, it, there's a genius wound up in it. There's a literary strength to Mac Lomond's libretto, and he, he develops the audience's imagination with it. So he plants motifs, verbal motifs, all the way through, and as that information gets told and retold, it's sort of in concentric circles, if you like. That information acquires more value or um, builds your experience and your understanding. So it's a, it's a really, um, really engaging from that perspective. I feel more body aware as a performer from doing this show. Luke is a very uh, physically aware director. I'm, I love horror and so it becomes uh, incredibly, at least the word, <laughs> fantastic when you can actually portray a character that has haunting capabilities at the same time and then also have a story that has hidden haunting meanings at the same time as well. I think I'll enjoy it because it's different, particularly in terms of the other productions that they get. So I think that difference that's, will be exciting. Um, I think just a really, really unique experience in the theatre, like working with this kind of literary musical style, and just something which will play out in your head for, for weeks on end. I don't think the Gambry Lakes is going to have ever seen anything like this. They should definitely come because it's um, you know, it's really it, it's a piece that's it's got a fantastic proven um, track record, but it's never been done in Australia. With this sort of piece, it's rarely done. It deserves to be done. It's very magical. I th I think maybe uh, Mac has cast a spell. David as well, with this little gem that they made, a voodoo spell, and it's just, it is mesmerizing. There's some real soldiers here, <laughs> and performing arts deserves more people like this, and we need to support uh, these good people with their good hearts and um, their extraordinary minds. So, we're making magic, and I'm happy to be a part of that. And I'm gonna miss that. I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna miss the people.